Stay Ladies there. and gentlemen, welcome to episode 411 of the Maritime Paintball Podcast, coming to you live, 97.9 FM CHSR, coming in Fredericton, New Brunswick, also live on Facebook, YouTube, and Twitch. Normally, I would say, you know, who is with me, but uh, now I'm all messed up because it's uh, Mr. Zach and the Farmer of Lead. What's happening, fellas? Hey. Hey. Thanks for having us. Well, it's... Again? Uh, you know, it was a desperation play, but uh, you guys showed up. Well, no. <laughs> I didn't have anything else better to do. I know, I know, and I, I, I appreciate that you had nothing better to do <laughs> at whatever time it is uh, at eight o'clock. I at, still have nothing really. I mean, good to I, do. I mean, I don't blame you. I really don't. Um, I appreciate it. Man. <laughs> I just had to turn off the air conditioner. I, I mean, I live in a hotel room right now, so and yeah, yeah, yeah which uh, well, I mean that. I mean, that kind of sucks, man. I, I've done that. It's uh, it's not, not fun. fun, man. It's not fun. Um, yep. It's worth it. The work is worth it. Yeah, I'm, I'm not here from any circumstance. I'm here because of work. <laughs> yeah, it's good. yeah. It's not. It's not like I'm hanging out in a hotel having fun. It's I'm hanging out in a hotel because I have to. Um, mm-hmm. So let's get the ticker going across the top there. So, folks. Um, that's pretty cool. Right. I haven't seen that before cool right explore paintballs out there in the chat what's happening uh today we're gonna be talking about uh paintballs coming to tv sorry paintballs coming back to tv because it tried back in like the 90s and it did not do well uh joe lavois what's happening i am super out of the loop so tell me everything okay so uh major league paintball signed a deal with espn2 which is, uh, if you're in the States, you can watch it on TV, like on your cable, uh, or you can stream it. If you're in Canada, you technically need to use a VPN <laughs> to stream it online. But um, ESPN2 is like where like professional cornhole is played and like professional like uh, uh, washer toss and stuff like that. Okay. <laughs> All right. So, uh, cool. so it's it's the channel that ESPN is like, oh, that's cute, but we're too busy doing football. So why don't we put you over here? <laughs> is that is that like where we see like competitive tag? Yeah, yeah. I think I, probably. I, I haven't seen a, I haven't seen competitive tag on the ESPN two, but uh, if it's going to be anywhere, it's going to be on ESPN two. Um, I saw a reel about competitive tag where it's basically just like like two parkour people that are jumping all over a jungle gym trying to touch each other that's basically what it is that's a that is that is exactly what it is <laughs> and uh so they're yeah it's coming to um excuse me it's coming to espn2 which is really cool uh the downside is that it's airing at like 2 a.m my time 10 p.m like pacific time um but it's airing nonetheless pacific yeah, Pacific, as in like out west. Yeah, California or BC so, or Canadian. So we're gonna have to leave it up to David Justin to get those numbers up. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I'm sure he's doing plenty right now. I'm sure he is posting all sorts of stuff. I actually haven't seen him post in a long time. I need to go see what that man is up to because you yeah, know I it's. Hope uh, he's okay. What? Hope he's okay. Yeah. Well, I've no, I've seen him posting a couple times. I know he was traveling. I'm just curious of like what the man is up to. I haven't I seen... I think it was just a Euro game or something. Yeah, something like that. So, I, I yeah. I really hope... Um, I guess should bring him back on the show. That'd be kind of fun. Talk to him. Sorry, I'm doing admin stuff right now. Uh, I was on the show one time. There we go. He what? It was great. I, he had a podcast. He did, he yeah. He it. had uh, Shoot You Soon with David Justin Reaper, and uh, I don't know how he never got blacklisted for playing uh, Don't Fear the Reaper by the Blue Oyster Cult every time he started the show. <laughs> he, had, he, he had some great ideas for his show. He, he had a good podcast and then didn't work out. <laughs> he had some great ideas, and then it failed. Really? No, I think he I just wanted to t- talk about the details, but I realized I can't, so <laughs> never mind. But he has some great ideas. <laughs> So, the man can talk, that's Chris, for sure. Farmer yes. of Lead, have you ever watched paintball on television before? That yeah. wasn't your own content as you were, you know, <laughs> with the with the bottle of Jergens and a box of uh, 
tissues. Yes, I have. I, okay. I watch a lot of games, a lot of NXL World Cup. Okay. To be honest, and I can tell you my favorite game is is the Dynasty versus the Heat. When Dynasty came back after <laughs> down three uh, three points. Oh, can you please can you, can you highlight that from Nicole May? Oh. <laughs> Nope, not that. Jesus, hold on. <laughs> What's this? I can't, oh my god, I love you, Nightmare. Can't believe you're on the show tonight. <laughs> uh, you know what? If you squint really hard, he does kind of look like <laughs> Brian. It's the same background. What's up, guys? <laughs> no, it's it's. He always comes. He he starts back from his mic and he goes, "What's up?" <laughs> and you got to do the hands across. <laughs> What's up, do guys? It, do, it, do it. Do it. Do it, Chris. Oh, come on, man. Oh, I thought right. I was going to be okay today. I didn't want to be mean. Or I was trying to be like... No, no, no. Nightmare is always free game. You can make fun of that man all day, every day. Oh, I know. I wasn't doing it for... I know I can do it, but just, <laughs> I was kind of like enjoying my carrots. And now I'm like, oh, I have yeah, to just do an your, impression of Nightmare. Your Costa Rican carrots. We've all done our impression. We just haven't heard yours yet. So don't forget to use don't, don't forget, forget to use the offer. 10%, right? yeah. What's don't up, forget guys? to use it's offer nightmare. code Costa Rican carrots to save ten percent on your next produce order. <laughs> oh, look, I can't afford to buy meat, so we're buying vegetables these days because the economy's yeah. not doing well. I can't afford yeah. to buy meat. That's that's a that is a legitimate Sorry, feeling, honestly. Uh, I feel that through and through. Why is my phone buzzing? Uh, I can only buy pre-cooked steaks. Pre-cooked steaks. Was that like a is that like a like a TV dinner thing? No, like the neighbor's steaks when he's not looking. <laughs> Pre-made steaks. You just train the dog to go steal it from the, from the from the neighbor's barbecue. Um, so I went the, on YouTube and watched PB2 Extreme and watched <laughs> both seasons. I think it was on Spike TV back in the day. I haven't seen that show. Paintball, uh, paintball Two Extreme. Yeah, no, I haven't seen that. It was ages. It was before I started playing, and uh, I have like it might be like a fever dream of if I'm trying to remember it. Um, Are we all too young to remember Skyball? I was too young to be in Skyball, but I am aware aware of Skyball. I'm aware of it too. Was that that was that was locally televised, wasn't it? Yeah, Rogers, I think, handled that one. Mm -hmm. Roger or Shaw? I think this was before Rogers bought Shaw. I don't remember. You think regular people will enjoy watching paintball? I don't think. I, think I mean, I, I know I will, right? Because we've seen, we watch a lot of paintball, we watch a lot of NXL and stuff. But I'm, I but okay. So I am paintball. based on the um, zero hard evidence that I've collected, and strictly on my own opinions of things that I've seen. I think the fact that uh, the game that they're broadcasting happened ten days ago, give or take. Yo, Wolf's here. He was at Skyball. He says that he actually invented it. It was Rogers. Wicked. <laughs> um, I knew it. Uh, yeah. So it's, uh, Wolf, we're going to get you on the show, man. I want to get you on the radio. You got a voice for radio. Hell yeah. We are. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm so glad that Still, man has a great sense of humor. Oh, uh, yeah. Yes. yes. I, I think if he yes. didn't, he would have gone insane by now. Um, Except yeah. when you play video games with him, he's very serious. I played with him Apex a couple of times, and he was very serious. He's competitive. That's... Yeah, he's, I feel he's it. not that, that competitive, but so. he was kind of like, we, we, need to, we need to achieve achieve the mission, we need to win. Did he and, tell you to get out uh, from behind this bunker and move up? No, I told him to stop proning. And he told me to mind your own business. Yeah, he sent you back to the... Uh, back to the so you, you, you wanted to say parking lot, didn't you? <laughs> you? You wanted to so badly. I could see it in your I'm face. Pu- I uh, think I'm pushing my luck. I told you to get to the circle, bro. <laughs> yeah, I think so. <laughs> uh, see, Zach I don't and I would be. Uh, it see, was a great game, though. I, I don't, don't know. think we, I don't. I I sucked at it, anyways. I would. Uh, I'd, I'd. You know what? I'd love to play some Apex with uh, with Wolf, but I. Based on my interactions by playing with Zach, I it would not go well. There would just be a lot of just fucking around a lot, and then Wolf getting angry and wandering off and doing his own thing and winning the game. <laughs> See, this is why we play other games that are, you know, a little a little less uh, goal oriented and a little more just chaos. Yeah, yeah. 
I gotta get new headset so we can play some more Hell Divers. Um, you should. You guys should play Hell Let Loose, but you might you might not like it. I'll try it again. <laughs> you should play this game. You might not like it. Because you guys like those arcade games. What are you talking about? I just, like games. just saying. Hell Let Loose is pretty arcadey. Have you tried Paintballers Beta on Steam? Not yet. No. I'm waiting to get my headset so I can actually talk to people. It looks really good, though. It's actually endorsed. If that's the one I think it is, it's endorsed by Major League Paintball. Like, they oh. are, like, helping out with it, which is really, really cool. So, the, uh, the broadcast that's happening, I have zero evidence for this, except for a few things that I've seen. One, noticing that the, uh, the game that's being broadcast on August 3rd, 4th, depending on the time that you're in, um, the game actually happened on the 20th, 21st of July. I think it was July. Oh, my birthday. Or June. I forget now. Oh my god, I'm mixing up the months. Um, but it was ages ago. So it's like, okay, so why are they broadcasting it now? And it's like, that's how much time it took to edit everything. Right? Uh, there was okay. cameras, there were shots of uh, dye masks with GoPros. Ooh, POV cams. POV cams. That would be cool. But POV cams, from everybody's point of view, and then being edited by professional editors, not by YouTubers. So, I'm excited to see what they can do with that. I think that first first person perspective is going to carry over well to the general audience, and instead of just like you know, paintballers are going to already be used to that view, but the POV view is going to be yes. something interesting. I think for it's a combination. I think it's going to be the POV plus the third party angles that yeah. they've got, plus the guys on the ground. They had uh, guys on the ground with cameras, so I think all of that mixed together is going to... Uh, did you guys hear about the social media contest for $1,000 to make a promo for ESPN? I did not. I'm going to go look into that. The uh, do it right now. <laughs> the, the whole thing coming together is going to be... A, it's going to be really, really entertaining. Um, mm -hmm. And it's going to be... For, for us, though. I, no, I think it'll be entertaining for other people as well because they're going to be able to edit it it's gonna, so it's that it's be hard. easy to follow. I'm not trying what to be really, negative. I'm not trying. I'm trying. I'm trying to be realistic because I feel like today people already chose their sports. You're a hockey fan, basketball fan, baseball fan. You already dedicated time to watch your sport. I think what needs to be done in, in like somebody needs to introduce the general public to speedball. Like yes, yeah, like okay. Brad says documentary explaining the game to them, uh, get, getting to know the players. Kind of like he talked about, like highlights plus, you know, interviews, kind of like a hybrid of documentary versus showing you some clips from the game and get people interested in it, right? Talk about the markers, you know, we're shooting these markers at you know, 12, uh, 12 uh, balls per second, at 280 feet per second, blah, blah, blah. But that I think the... might get some people engaged and kind of like, all right, let me, let me give that sport a shot. Yeah, I think and it's... That's, I, not, I, that's not out of line either with like, um, with NFL like they have their talking heads on this throughout the entire game that are yep. telling you things that are happening. What's going on in the field? Why is this a rule? Why did he do that? Why did he throw this flag? Right. I mean, yeah. Okay. If you've been watching football for the last 50 years, you already know all this stuff, but you know, for somebody that's just dropping in by the end of the game, you have a fairly decent handle on what you just saw. Yeah. Yep. I, I really, I was going to be... talk about, uh, I was going to talk about UFC and Explore Paintball mentioned UFC. I remember when UFC was still starting and it wasn't popular. There was one fight. Man, I'm, I'm going to try to... I think Bonner and another um, another fighter, they had a fight. It was one of the few times that UFC was live on TV and people started calling each other. Dude, there's a fight on TV. Those guys are bloodied up. Maybe Paintball needs a moment like that. Like an epic game. And people start tuning in and it becomes a big deal and it spreads like wildfire. Maybe we need something like that. Or an explosion on social media on TikTok or something. Like something needs to happen. I think what needs to happen, people. I can tell you what I think needs to happen. Sorry, let me get close to my microphone. Let me let me get right in there. You're pulling uh, a nightmare right now, buddy. Uh, Seattle Uprising is, uh, is doing the contest. Okay, we're going to check that out. What cool. paintball needs is it needs to be made cool again. We need to bring the cool factor back. Paintball is a I niche know. extreme sport. It needs to be treated the same as skateboarding, BMXing, snowboarding. Yep. Bring back... That's not an unpopular opinion. Right. 
No, it's not. A lot it's, of people that's, agree. That's like fine. it's it's yeah. yeah, yeah. But when you but the problem is is when you look at the promo material that's given to the public, not the stuff that we see as paintballers because we're following the teams and we're following the events. When you look at the stuff, when you look up uh, paintballing in general, you end up seeing pictures that are being promoted because that's what the fields are promoting, and they have to. And I understand that why they have to do this. Don't come at me, bro. But what doesn't make the the, the sport look cool is twelve year olds in drab coveralls, rental masks, and ninety eight customs. That's a good point. You're not wrong. Right? It doesn't look cool. And so when you look at skateboarding. Nobody get like I I started longboarding. I didn't start longboarding because I saw photos of overweight middle-aged dudes slowly drifting down trails. I started longboarding cuz I was watching people bomb down hills in BC and I was like that looks fucking cool. And then I realized that I can't do that. So now I'm the fat middle-aged guy lazily flowing down the trails. <laughs> but that's what was that I was like that looks really cool. I want to get into that. Uh, you know, I remember the I remember the first time I saw a picture of Reaper in his full gear. This is I, I hadn't met him yet. We we hadn't become friends at this point, and it was just like that looks cool. And yeah. you know, the first time I saw it was it wasn't even very long ago. Like I wasn't like a little kid seeing it in a magazine the first time, right? It's because Reaper can never die. Only the actors who portray him. But <laughs> he's actually go- he's actually the lead. He's actually uh, was it Papa? I forget. He's the priest from Ghost. Um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, hey, Paul's here. Sheldon's hey, newest promo pic depicts exactly what you're saying, as in like Sheldon photography. Let me go look at this up. Let's go see. So I've got like a, an entire like radio station at my but disposal, you, and I'm you grabbing guys a laptop. Are, are- are are forgetting something though? There is a bit of resistance to promote paintball today. Anything to do with guns, even in Canada, U.S. Okay, so that's where all the, all the YouTube videos and TikTok are being suppressed on social media. So that's, that's why we need to really stop using social well. media. There needs to be a bigger push for other forms of marketing: radio, TV. Like, okay, here we go. Things things nobody watches or listens to anymore. Exactly. <laughs> Facebook, Facebook is for old people or paintballers. Uh, what about Spotify? Is Spotify suppressing paintball content? No, I don't think so because you can't see a gun on Spotify. Uh, Spotify, Spotify doesn't care what's in the videos. They don't. They don't. They, they don't track that stuff. I think they really? do analyze the audio. Um, what about TikTok? Wolf. TikTok is different. It doesn't suppress it so much as. If it if you don't follow the TikTok trend, you just get buried. Yeah, so, that's the thing. It's, your video. it's yeah. Um, so the photo that he's talking about from Sheldon is uh, is a great pick, honestly. And I'm not just saying that because it's Paul's kid, uh, but it's a great pick because it's like they're a, it's an EMF. Yeah, it's clearly an it. it, it's an EMF. I'm gonna see if I can bring it into the chat and uh, bring it into the. Uh, into the place. <laughs> oh, a big shout out to Sheldon, by the way. I yeah, he's love Sheldon. He's fantastic, dude. At least in Canada. I, I don't know much about who's taking photos in the U.S., but in Canada, I think he's top of the list. <laughs> I think it's Sheldon. <laughs> the man he's travels. He go, he, yeah, I think Sheldon's the, uh, what, like, if you go to an American game, in, I think you're still going to come across Handball? Sheldon. Like, even in North America, like North America, Sheldon? Yeah. Wasn't, wasn't he at zero hour when we were there? I know, buddy. There's a lot of photographers in the U.S. I'm just saying. Yeah, I know, but there's only one Sheldon. There's only one okay. Sheldon. <laughs> uh, there can only be one Sheldon. There, <laughs> it's like Highlander. There can only be yes. one. He's, uh, he has the power. Oh, God. He takes a good Oh, ball. there you go. Brandon Blue is the man in the U.S. All right. I'm sorry, in the U.S. of I... Okay, cool. Well, now we know, right? Now we know. Check out Brandon's stuff. Yeah, we'll check out yeah. Brandon's stuff for, for sure. Top yeah. five worldwide? Yeah, I, I believe but that. Canadian I, Sheldon is my favorite. I wouldn't we even go. check what Wolf just said. Yo. There it is. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I so it's a great Wolf. pick, right? It's a great pick. Because it, what it shows mm-hmm. is actually the perfect blend of, like, this is clearly a kid, right? Yeah. Uh, but not... That- Got gear, but but has real gear. Is like this is what your kid could look like. This is what a kid looking at paintball goes. 
that could be me. I want to be that. Right? That's what I'm saying. Is that Paul's so putting, uh, Paul's kid? Yes. Yep. Huh? So, so so putting on my my painful to watch hat for just a half second, I like that it looks like the field is busy in the background. Yeah. Yeah, he had all six Paul's people kid. there that day actually gather behind him. And no, <laughs> they, they, were there, they were playing a game. I believe it was uh, Jesse's game. Oh, Wolf's comment. It's so good. It almost looks fake. I'm not going to lie. When I was scrolling through my feed and I saw that, I was just like, why is there... A, like, this is a really good AI render of a paintballer. And then I looked at it closer. I was like, oh, this is a shot by Sheldon. Like, it's it's too good. It's too good. Sheldon's not human. Man, uh, the man, the man so is more nice camera than human. i to the king. I've been trying to Yes, King, it takes two like people to replace. Days. He's just you. avoiding me. He's just like, uh, <laughs> he says, oh, yeah, 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 we'll play games together. And just like ghosts. Yeah. Folks, I uh, just want to remind everyone that uh, if you you're know. watching live or listening it to on the radio at 97.9 uh, FM CHSR, you can call in. We do have a phone that I love to use. So please feel free to call in. It's 506-453-4979. Uh, if you want to I give your... I think if Wolf doesn't call right now, he hates paintball, so... Oof. Actually, Wolf, that'd be great, Same. man. You want to call in? Give us a call. Give us a ring. No, uh, he hates paintball. He's apparently he call. does. Apparently he does. That's that's the rumor. Really that's what I'm being told by Led. He's got a problem with paintball. He hates it so much, he's not calling. <laughs> or he doesn't know how to use a phone, so we don't know. I could be proven wrong today. Ooh. I'm fighting words, man. I'm fighting words. Is Wolf too old. Slap shit at you next time he sees you. Or a flat phone. We don't know. <laughs> Man, you know what? More, you know what? Morse code. Morse code. What you want to say, Wolf? Challenge. <laughs> he's, he's not watching. <laughs> he's not watching. He's like he's wandered off. Um, I think he logged out. I think we lost him. So yeah, Sorry, I think uh, I think this broadcast is the beginning of something great. It's actually, even if the broadcast doesn't do super super great, let's let's go on a. Uh, I'm in the middle of something. Whatever. Mm-hmm. Yeah, hating uh, on paintball. <laughs> Jesus, the. Um, it, let's say it's it's uh, it performs lackluster, right? It sucks. It happens. Whatever, right? Um, it's still, I think, the fact that Major League Paintball went out and figured out this contract, plus the whole thing on Steam where they're they're endorsing a game. They're trying. They're clearly trying to like get things going and get numbers up and promote more that isn't just relying on social media likes and shares because. Social media is just not where it's at anymore unless you're willing to pay for ads. And I full like Wolf had said in the chat earlier, uh, pay for, pay for ads and streaming services. Like what? Like pay for ads. You can do this. I don't know if people are unaware of this, but if you run a paintball field or a paintball store, what you can do is you can have an ad recorded, right? And you can put it on Spotify or Apple podcasts or, uh, Apple music and you can geolocate that stuff. I get ads in my podcasts from like local law firms that are in mm. Fredericton because of the, it's geolocating okay. where I'm at. So like it's possible you can do that. Do you do YouTube ads? I wonder what those cost. I wonder what costs to run an ad on YouTube. You know, there there's ways around it. 350? About 350? Sure. Probably. That's my guess. Yeah, but for for how long? And which know. video is it targeting? It gets pretty expensive. Depends on how how often is going to show. I'm looking it up. What type of videos are showing? Uh, YouTube ads are measured in uh, CPM or costs per thousand, and most businesses pay a CPM of between four and ten dollars. The average business sets aside a daily budget of ten to fifty dollars um, for its YouTube advertising campaign. It costs, on average, $2,000 to reach 100,000 views on YouTube. PB hmm. Field owner to expect PB manufacturers to pay cover media advertising. See, that's a whole different debate on who's supposed to be promoting the sport. I think both. Uh, I, Why not both, both? They, they have to. Both they have to. But for the most part, when you say grow the sport, you're talking about the field growing. Advertising, bringing, yeah. Bringing more... Oh. Clients, more customers. I love Wolf's Especially idea of Bruce having uh, a commercial before a movie. I wonder what those cost. I mean, they're probably very expensive. Um, um, yeah. Field owners expect manufacturers to pay and whatnot. That 
it, if you own a field, you need to advertise your field. You can't expect yeah. Tipman to advertise your field. Tipman's going to advertise Tipman. But like advertise yeah. your field. That you don't need to promote the sport of paintball. Promote just your field and it'll do yes, its own but thing. Tipman need to support the fields. This is where it's different. They're not supposed to advertise the field, but they're supposed to support them in a lot of ways. They're, they can sponsor their events. They can, GI Sports, give you a pretty aggressive price on paint mm -hmm. so you can attract different type of people. Sure. Everybody's got a part to play. The only... And but if people gonna aren't going very... to the field, then why should Tipman give you a discount on paint? Look, it's, it's like a new business, right? Let's say I'm the supplier because Tipman is a supplier, supplier of paintball products, right? In order for me to sell, I need to promote the field that potentially could sell my stuff, right? There's not a lot of paintball fields in the world. There's, there isn't a lot. It's they're from their interest to, to support these fields. I'm not saying throw a lot of money. No, no, Throwing no. a couple of markers at a field, rental, here's, here's 15 uh, Tipman 98s to start. You don't need to pay me. It costs Tipman nothing. They cost absolutely nothing. This is how you can support just little things, right? But don't tell them, oh, you need to you need to lease minimum twenty markers from us before you get that price. You're not really helping them. If the field doesn't grow in you know in the next couple of years, maybe pull your stuff out of there. But there's a lot of way you can do, because at the end of the day, you're helping yourself. Tipman, um, we're just saying Tipman here. It could be you know, uh, Planet Eclipse, HK, whatever, right? Yeah. They have to work together. But what? I don't agree with people is thinking that I'm supposed to be, as a player, as a customer, it's my responsibility to grow the sport. No, I'm a customer. I pay money for the field, right? And I expect the field to create good and fun games for me so I can continue coming back. That's my responsibility. Yeah. Now, if I work for the field or if the field is inviting me for games, that I have responsibility towards that field to promote the field. So responsibility to grow the sport is the field. And it's the responsibility for a lot of these companies to support paintball fields and facilities. My opinion. Now, everybody could be, you can disagree, but from a point of view of business, I think that's the way you should be. So. I, think it's a, I think it's a good assessment of the way things are, but we're also talking about what's about to happen. So what kind of advertising opportunities are going to happen at 2 in the morning on ESPN2? So that's right? the thing is, out <laughs> east here, it's going to be 2 a.m., Technically, it's mm -hmm. going to be 10 p.m. in, like, California. That which qualifies as prime time. Right. Which, which is the biggest the, the, market for paintball, by the way. The state of California has the population of Canada. Yep. Mm -hmm. Maybe. I don't know. I'm just pulling a number out of my ass there. But I'm guessing it's probably pretty close. Let's find out. Uh, <laughs> I think it is, yeah. I think, it's, I, I think it is. I think you're right. The population of downtown L.A.? Yeah. California is actually bigger than Canada. At 39 million people. So, um, yeah. So, 10 p.m. That's a really... Pretty reasonable time. It's 10 p.m., right? Mm -hmm. And it's also a trial, too, right? Like, it's, if it performs, it gets a better time slot. It sucks that you're kind of, like, not set up to fail, but you're definitely not being given the best chance off the break. Um, I think uh, Tom's got a good point. Um, I don't think they're going for live... Uh, no, they're not going for live at all. This is this is going to be they're going to broadcast it and then I think you're going to see they're going to diversify. They're going to broadcast it and then you're going to see highlights and snippets get thrown onto YouTube, TikTok, Instagram Reels, Facebook Reels, all that stuff. What does it stuff. mean? Huh? What does it mean for ESPN to invest in this? It means there's a lot of potential. I also think that's Major League Paintball's news. paying that's them. That's great news. <laughs> Like, you know what I mean? I yeah, think they're they being paid. They to. don't have to say yes. I don't no, no, think no. They're paying they they definitely money. see they, something they can, there, right? They definitely they see, see it. something, yeah. And yeah. they're, so they're given the, let's just say the 10 p.m. slot, because they're, they're really aim, yeah. aiming for California, uh, is really what they're, what they're trying to shoot for. Yeah. Um, and I, I, you can't blame them for that. Right? No, 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 not at all. They're not going to do it in Ottawa time zone, buddy. No. Could you imagine? They do like Manitoba time zone? Manitoba. <laughs> Does Manitoba Does have a time players? zone? I thought time just stopped in Manitoba, and then it started up again when you got through. Uh, <laughs> no, they just they just don't have uh, they don't have daylight savings. Right, right, right. So yeah, so they, you're, you're, it's just like half the year they're on time, and the other half of the year they're they're a different time. They're on. They're it's like Newfoundland's always half an hour off. Uh, yeah, well, like their clock, their clocks stay the same. Yours, yours changes. <laughs> yeah, we're no, you're the weird ones, not us. 
Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's going to be... Uh, this this broadcast is definitely going to be, I think, a catalyst for something. I think it could be great. I think we can see a bigger push and like more people coming in to play paintball. And But I hope this Both doesn't get better. Uh, <laughs> it grew up in Winnipeg. It Did it get better? Isn't it still the murder capital of Canada? No, he left I, Winnipeg. I, oh. <laughs> Listen, I, I worked there for three weeks and I quit my job. That's fair. It's a fair assessment. I passed through there once on a bus and didn't die. That's good. Yeah. Did you get off the bus? <laughs> no, but it was only a couple of weeks later that somebody's um, got their. Oh yeah, that was yeah, yeah that happened. Yeah, yeah Keanu was happened. on the bus. He couldn't stop, so he had to go fast, fast. Fuck. <laughs> no, but yeah, sure. That's a funny reference. <laughs> uh, do you think it'll get more people to watch the NXL live streams for the next major? No. Maybe. Maybe. No, no is a hard no. no. It's not a hard no. It's more like I think what's going to happen is I think the people that are going to enjoy the ESPN broadcast are going to enjoy it for different reasons than what you would enjoy watching the live broadcast. Because to be honest, watching the live broadcast is great most of the time because you get to watch it live. You get to see things happening live. You don't, you know what I mean? Like you get to see that that great play happen right in front of you. Um. But it is very difficult to coordinate those cameras. Like you can't always be snapping from camera to camera to capture that good angle, especially a sport like paintball where you might be focusing on, say, the guy in the snake because he's moving up, but then the game changes because there was a move made in the Doritos. So it's it's really hard to tr- coordinate those cameras, and I feel bad for the guy who's trying to like bang out that like camera two, camera five, camera one. Um so with the broadcast, they took the time to edit everything. We get to see the great play. We get to see what's happening. And it's they can edit it in such a way that you can see two different things happening at the same time on the field. You know what I mean? Like, so yeah. I want to know who the commentary is going to be. Like, is it going to be Joe uh, Buck Joe and Troy Rogan. Aikman? Joe Rogan. Joe Rogan. Yeah, no. We can't afford him. Um sure can't it's probably it's probably ollie it's just ollie probably i'll see what happens definitely a good thing though but yeah we'll, we'll see what happens it could be a great success or it could be like all right well we tried didn't work out um but it's definitely uh, good news for the sport for sure no oh, yeah for sure it's going to be great it's going to be awesome to watch i'm excited for it uh i'm not watching it at 2 a.m i will be watching it later i'm also in canada which means i'll be watching it not the way it's intended to be watched. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> it's just, it's a hard fact, folks. Can't watch it live. Um, nope. I'm, I'm also very curious to see what commercials are going to run. It's kind of like the Super Bowl where you're like, oh, I can't wait to watch the commercials because let's be honest, football's kind of boring. I said it. Fight me. For, uh, you, for you. It's boring for me. I watched the Super Bowl for the halftime show and the commercials. It's boring um, for me too. Thank you. And uh, it is. <laughs> there, it can, there's sometimes there's some cool stuff happens, but most of the time it's it's, it's watching. Listen, it's only know. funny. It's only not funny. It's only cool when like uh, you know when you're watching Notre Dame and Rudy is trying to win. This is a very old movie. Most of you guys don't know what the hell I'm talking about. <laughs> but like when 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 Rudy you know was allowed to enter the game at the kids? end. <laughs> and and everybody was saying Rudy, Rudy. That was like a good moment. But after that, that was my last game that I've watched. I understood that reference. <laughs> I'm I'm just curious to see who who bought time slots to run during a paintball broadcast. Like I'm very curious to see what's going to happen. And if it is oh, one of hot. those, like if it is one of those, somebody had said in the chat. I think Wolf said it. There was going to be like a going to be like a where to play paintball commercial. I'm very curious to cool. see how that's going to work because it's probably going to be like SC Village. Like, you know what I mean? Like, it's going to show like the big fields in the US and that's it. Maybe. I, I'm expecting it just to be a repetitive. There's only like one ad got taken out and they just keep playing the it same just ad over hurts. and over again. It just hurts car rental over and yeah. over again. <laughs> or, or like at Ozempic. <laughs> <laughs> Keep playing hurts. 
Sorry. It's just it's it, you're watching as like two ninety nine or something. <laughs> just I'm thinking like you're just watching like paintball just duking it out. It's super intense. Cut to commercial, and all it is. I asked my doctor. I asked my doctor. <laughs> Ask your doctor today if Ozempic is right for you. <laughs> Side effects may include. <laughs> <laughs> it's also going to be 10 p.m. at night, so it's either going to be fast food commercials because it's 10 o'clock at night, commercial, right. or or it's going to be life insurance <laughs> and medication insurance. that they're not allowed remember to remember say. Remember when it used to be uh, phone chat lines late night, dude? Uh, yes, that's hilarious, man. I have not. <laughs> wow, that was a thing for a while. That sure yeah, was a the, thing. Before, uh, before uh, AOL. Oof. <laughs> ICQ. I see, um, the uh, the Yahoo games playing pool with the live chat. Mm-hmm. That was that was a cesspool. Going in just trying to play some eight ball and just man, just. Oh. You guys think paintballers will watch? No, a big <laughs> number of them. <laughs> Let's be real. I. Th- they don't even watch their own videos. <laughs> nope. It's true. It's true. Like, how many videos have you posted? How many views are you getting? Like, less than 200. I don't want to talk about it. Uh, no, I'm... Because people keep forgetting that paintball is... There's two different paintballs, right? There's the rec- recreational paintball, and there's the sport of paintball. And I'm the sport of paintball don't like recreational, and vice versa. That's, that's a fact. It seems to be. I really am yeah. looking forward to watching some some professional paintball action i want to see the the firefights i want to see the snap shooting i want to i want to see the dives i want to see the crashes yeah. i want to see the failures i want to see the wins like, i want to see the, the, really, the, it's really entertaining to watch the content games. that i watch so when i do watch when i get a craving to watch paintball on youtube uh, i'm not looking for the uh point of view shots i'm not looking for like some dude's gopro footage i'm usually watching something like hk army does a great job editing the footage together. Well, I mean, yes. they're hiring editors and whatnot, and they're kind of showcasing yes. producers. But it's always cameras from the sidelines yep. capturing great moments, cut to great music most of the time. Um, mm-hmm. And it's it's action. You don't like dubstep? I, no, I like dubstep, but sometimes the dubstep they pick is like a little too, like, they went, it's like, it's somehow like emotional. <laughs> right? So Or it's like super soft and like mellow, and I'm like, this doesn't fit. Um... <laughs> can I tell? I don't know if you can play can that we, video. Uh, I can't. If I play any video with any music, I have to mute the music. I'm going to drop the link here, and I know most of you guys have seen that video from HK. I think for me, any content painful, this for me is the greatest video. Ooh, I wonder which one it is because there's one, there's one from HK that I absolutely love. It, I just dropped it now. You click on it, you probably will agree. It's World Cup. It's probably the best era oh. in speedball. Is that the Back one where right? they edited Marquis' mustache onto everyone? <laughs> no. no. That's not the no, one. But, but, can, but Zach, can we make a side project? Link, Zach, you and I, can we work on a side project? We're gonna grab an HK. Lots. We're gonna grab an HK Army video, and we're just gonna redub everything with you just going. It's like the wor- the world's worst beatbox. Whatever, it's gonna be hilarious. Sorry, I'm plugging in my Mac because the. Uh, and by the way, that video has got 5.2 million views. I can't. You gotta send me the link in a private chat, would you? Because I can't. I can't right, grab the link from the comments I'll, the way I'll my system's set up. Here. Appreciate it. Go, and uh, son of a... 5.2 million views. Worth every view. It's really entertaining, even if you don't watch Painball. If you watch that video, it'll be like, shit, man, that... That's looks awesome. pretty intense. That's looks, looks pretty dope. entertaining. Like, I want to do that. Let's go do that. Yeah. 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 That, that's I'm watching the video right now. I know. Yeah. Have you seen that video? video? You've you've seen the video. Yeah, Almost this is hot. This well, send me the link. I did. It's, it's in the private chat, dude. What private chat? I'm bring another carrot here, all right? See it, see oh, it on that the private chat. StreamYard? Yes, the yeah. only, which, like, Messenger? Let me see. Oh, you know what? It's like, it's it started playing three quarters of the way through, so it's probably the video I watched Well, recently. you know what I'm talking about. You know that video. The video. Yeah. It's, that's I a I guarantee video. you, a bunch of speedball. When I played speedball a couple years ago, that's the video I was watching before. No, this isn't, uh, this isn't the one that I always, this isn't, like, my always go-to. But 
This is worth. Like oh. this deserves all five five point two million yes. views it's got. Hundred percent. And if huh. if ESPN can draw videos like that, I guess yeah, that's what I'm saying. It's like a lot of I people. would love to see well done. a full length broadcast, not of like that, not like you know, don't give me two hours of like nonstop slow motion and dubstep. That's a bit much. If I want that, I'll go watch The Matrix. Um, yeah, it's hey 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 pump the brakes. <laughs> Sorry, if I want that, I'll go watch Equilibrium. Hey, hey whoa. that's not a bad movie, dude. dude relax, <laughs> it's, it's right? not. It's Yo. not a bad movie at all. It's that's actually what, fantastic. Christian Bale, no? Yeah, Christian Bale. Yeah, yeah like Christian it. Bale, and everything is shiny. <laughs> Some people base their entire personalities <laughs> off of those films. Yes, and those people are nerds. My Christian Bale. Um, don't blaspheme the Matrix, talk. bro. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Don't talk shit about the Matrix. Okay, okay. Um, but <laughs> anyways oh. yes if they can produce something that is entertaining to watch like that they've got a winning I think they've got a winning combination there um, I think more people will get into it I think more people will watch it, it it's going to bring back that cool factor um, which we desperately need because frankly outside of unless you know where to look paintball just doesn't look cool it's. It looks kind of boring from from not if you look from the outside in, right? So yeah. it can. I mean, you it know, can. you show your content to non-players, and they're just like, "Oh yeah, nerd," right? Like, it's, yeah, but put some, some put some music in the in the video, put some highlights. Well, what like, I mean is like okay, the some people get into it. Some people some yeah. people who aren't players like like consuming the con- like they like watching your videos and stuff like that. And they're like, "Hey, mm-hmm. that looks mm-hmm. cool. Oh, it's like, mm-hmm. I'd like to play that sometime." Like those people exist. They're out there. Are they a market share? Maybe not. But this is the only sport that has the wolf who is calling in in five minutes. To <laughs> Sorry, I just, I just spiked the shit out of that mic. <laughs> Caught me off guard. Or he won't, and he hates paintball. Ooh. Um, so. And babies. <laughs> no, I don't think that one's true. No, he doesn't hate babies? I don't no, think he does. Maybe, maybe, I, maybe I took it too far. He just hates paintball yeah. then. Yeah, just painful. <laughs> Bro, he's, fucking, he's, he's still in the chat, so he's not. He's, he's still there. Um, the uh, I yeah, think he can he still call. Got, like, I, can I tell? You, I think he's gonna call thirty seconds before we end the show. Probably. You know what? Like, give oh, me a number. I'll like, dial oh, out. My bad, guys. I'll call. He's can we vo- call he's him? Does prompts. anybody? Does anybody have Wolf's number? We'll call him if he doesn't want to call. I don't us, have right? his number. I don't have his number. Uh, eight six seven five three zero nine. 3, 10, 30, 30. No. <laughs> well, okay, guys, please leave Wolf alone, all right? <laughs> what? <laughs> anyway. Uh, ow, damn it. Sorry, I, I broke one of my toes the other day, and it fucking hurts. Um, oh, which one? My baby toe. I actually broke my baby toe on my left foot. It hurts like hell. Um, Did sorry. he cry wolf? <laughs> no, I <laughs> swore a lot, though. I didn't even. I didn't even break it in a cool way. I was just sitting funny, and my foot slipped off the stool and slammed into the ground, and just broke my toe. Like it was like <laughs> you just stepped on your own toe. Well, and the thing too is, I was working on some marketing materials for a company, and I was like sitting there, and I was like, "Does this count as workers' comp?" Like, <laughs> yeah, that seems related. <laughs> yeah, it is. Right. Uh oh. Somebody call. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. Hello, who's there? If it's not Wolf, just hang up the phone. Sweet Jesus, you guys, and the peer pressure. I mean, goodness gracious. <laughs> Trying to have a nice, relaxing evening. No such thing, bro. Drinking some Earl Grey and watching some browsers, and you guys just keep <laughs> Breaking news, Wolf loves paintball. Man, you just went full John the Picard. <laughs> I bet you, I bet you too. If we got video of him too, he's probably wearing like that silk shirt with the full chest exposed, like Jean Luc Picard, like just chest hair no, in no, the wind. No, no, it would be a smoking jacket, mm. bro. Make it so. Oh. <laughs> Class. Even though I never smoked, but you know, you, you gotta have to look. 
Got to, yeah, he spritzes it with like fake like liquid smoke and a perfume thing. <laughs> just wanted, yeah. just wanted to give a quick random story that you guys reminded me of. Um, like you got, we were talking, you were talking about, you know, would the public accept certain types of advertising from paintball or would they like it and stuff? Uh, one thing that I did in my years when the kids were younger, on the parents, I can't remember what you call it now, when the parents are invited to the school to talk about their job and stuff. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, so parent went, teacher, or no, okay, yeah, like take your, uh, was it take your parent to take your... Yeah, yeah. Anyways, and uh, it was cool because um, I went as a uh, professional paintball player. Ooh, and, fancy. And the the fun thing about it, and one of the videos, I, I edited a video together, I talked to Marky from HK Army, and I played them uh, the Living Legends video. Which one? We talking yeah, like yeah. bikini or Living right, Legends? Big, big one yes. with uh, FP Russia, FPS Russia and stuff. Oh, yeah, okay. Yes. Yeah, all I did was edit out the bikini parts, but... <laughs> Bruh. Living Bruh. Legends? You cut out the best part. Yeah, I know. You're yeah, right. The school would love that. It was like grade <laughs> nine. <laughs> Look, they got to learn somehow. Got to just... <laughs> Second favorite video. <laughs> it's safe for work. The cool thing about it is that um, as I was leaving... <laughs> the principal was like, you know, really appreciative and stuff. And she said, uh, when we announced the different, what the different, like what you could do, it wasn't just, you didn't just go to your, your child's class. Uh, they'd have the different parent in different classes doing different subjects and the kids could choose. Mm-hmm. And they said that um, out of all the parents that signed up, you know, to go and do presentations, uh, mine was uh fully booked immediately and it's like oh, wow. this is the most popular one and they're like kids waiting for other kids to drop out to go to <laughs> the paintball one well why and wouldn't it, right it's yeah it was so cool it's and awesome. it's, I, the, the other jobs were like i think one guy was a cop one guy was um, um uh music producer and uh they, you know there there are a couple of decent things though but yeah it's like apparently it was like Line up around the corner trying to get into the paintball dad show. That's wild, oh, man. That's awesome. So it just yeah, goes cool. to show that p- people think paintball is cool. We just got to present it in the right way. You just got to present it the right way. Like, 100%. And, that's, I, it, it, and you guys are saying, it, it's. I had this conversation with uh, Bear from um, SE Village and Hollywood Sports. Like, when these guys, especially when you get like celebrity, real like real celebrities, I'm not gonna, I'm not talking about East Lux, but <laughs> like uh, Randy about, Couture, yeah, yeah, he plays. Well, it's it, like when he they like Hollywood sports is literally in Hollywood, so they get like bear right. with always like get pictures with like big time mm-hmm. stars, like big time A list celebrities, and, and it's like they're holding like a, a rental marker. Right and yeah. like like the word you know what I mean like they should be setting up like the, the coolest stuff yeah get them get them the oh. the the uh, the M3 off the wall yep and hand it to them with yep. the latest yeah, rotor a defender you know what I mean like get like yeah. trick yeah, them out for it. trick them exactly. out just for the photo at the very least yeah. right because absolutely and the one but the one another <clears throat> thing which is out of his control. Um, I really hated it because he did feel like he wouldn't tell them like, I don't know, like he'd have like, you know, Will Smith or Brad Pitt out there and stuff like that. And big time, big time celebrities taking their kids to play. And, you know, he'll post a picture with them on his page, which was, which was you know, <laughs> not that good. Personal. But celebrities never, ever post pictures of themselves playing paintball. And which is strange. Pretty frustrating. I find it a little strange. Like, are yeah. they not? Are they not posting it because that's considered their private time? I don't know. I don't know. That could be though. Could could, be. But it's like it's like it, I I just or, like every time you post a celebrity's picture, like I go to that celebrity's page and it's, you never see it. Yeah, because like, they're not, not, paid. it's not like they're taking they're pictures not, they're with the kids or anything like facility. that. It's not like it's they're like pictures paid. with the kids and all this stuff. It's just I don't know. It's just I just found it frustrating. Like I I. I would try to convince them to show the world what they're doing, and that's like a huge advertisement within itself. For yeah. real, like, yeah, find out what it takes to to get Brad Pitt to uh, to post a, a a paintball shot. Like, why why would it be so hard? You know, Just screenshot Tom Hardy in that movie where he, he 
where he was shooting a bunch of kids playing paintball. You guys remember that movie? No. Oh, uh, yep. Dark Knight Rises? <laughs> no. It's uh, when it he's like a spy and he's competing for a girl with another yes. spy. Yes. I actually he put was that on my paintball. TikTok the other day. Yeah. Or like on Community, the worst depiction of paintball ever. Well, um, just, I, I think paintball got a bad rep, but... Paintball will always have it'll always have a bad rep. But no, so does skateboarding. Um, Skateboarding's always okay. the that's the sport of of hooligans and vagrants. You know, like it's well, it's He's talking about it from the, the safety <coughs> aspect when they put it on T V. Oh no, when they put it on TV, the, it's, uh, it's so bad. Do you remember that that stuff in the US, like the, the paintball drive bys, whatever? Do you guys remember that? It was it yeah. happens once in a while. It, was it happened here too, theory. right? Yeah, it was like that's that's do you have to report that 24-7? Like, it's just a bunch of guys playing. Yeah, but it's easy. the sport. If it bleeds, it leads. It easy. Send it forward. Yeah, that's true. So, go cool, man. Draft for paintball. It's dangerous. You know, people get injured. Like, no, it's a safe sport. There is a lot of positive in media, like on TV. Like, I was, like, just mentioning community was, a, was, a, was not a great depiction of paintball in media. Because that's not how it is played in real life. But then you see it on like the Big Bang Theory. And they actually here and stuff like that. I was was really surprised by Big Bang Theory. They had the masks. They wore the, the chest protectors. They had actual paintball markers with them. Um, yep. They were covered in blue paint, which is mm-hmm. an actual paint color. It's not you know mm-hmm. a, and uh, the, the yeah and it just it always sucked because it was always the nerds getting just absolutely stomped every time they played. Like it just. Right. Uh, when you look at that show and, and the reach that that show had, for people to still not know what paintball is today is is kind of like, really? Well, I like, I wear... I think people know what paintball is. They just don't know how they don't, good it gets. They don't like, know how they, deep they that rabbit hole goes. Base. They have, yeah, they they just, they just nine, 99% of the world only knows about the birthday parties that you drop your kids off yep. to and then, you, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But there's a there's a difference here where where some people are paintballers and some people play paintball. There's a big difference. Some people yeah, oh, go with their friends to play paintball. They Which play once, you? twice. You know where I am, <laughs> All right? Yeah, I'm a tourist. Yeah, because lots. no matter where I am, like I'm always you know kind of prom- like telling people what I do, and literally every time I tell people about big games, they had no idea that we do these things. Yeah, oh, like I, no I, I love showing people big game footage because they're just like the whole time they're just like, oh, yeah, it is. That looks like so during, awesome. During D there's a lot of people playing paintball for the first time. Those guys are gonna come back. Yeah, I hope so. yeah, those guys gonna come beginners. back because it's epic. There's a lot yep. of beginners every year at D Day. But sure, what I'm saying are. is that even if you introduce people to the sport, they might go and, and play, but it might not be for them. They'll have fun, but then they might not come back. But then you've you've got that dude that you know you know he f- falls in love and is like you know what I'm gonna buy my gear I'm gonna come back and a couple of years later he's a he's playing you know Division Four, so, investing a lot of money practicing twice a week. Cameron's got what it is. This great comedy series. He's reffing a group of teenagers who were playing for the second time because uh, they loved it. Showed them my 170R and three of them immediately asked where they can go and buy a speedball marker. Because mm-hmm. he showed off a 170R because it's a badass looking marker. Like why wouldn't you want to go and get one? Yeah. So Testarossa yeah. paintball, but yeah, I mean yes, but Tesla Sorry did a great te- Tesla did great stuff for uh, for electric cars. So <laughs> sure, sure, yeah. But I also think a lot of fields need to upgrade their. I'm not giving a shout out to anybody here or promoting a brand, but I'm just oh, saying at one point. No, he's just wearing a Planet point, Eclipse shirt. Uh, at, at one point, I think a lot of facilities need to start introducing the, uh, you know, the Emacs versus the 198, which is a, you know, it works, but it's not the best marker. Give give them the option. Hey, for five bucks, you can use the Emac. Yeah, I think a lot of places have switched to Emac as their rental gun. There's a lot of them marker. they did, but some of them haven't. Some of them are still the major using. Did, like Wasaga does, I do believe. Uh, is I it all Emacs, or they still have 198s? I'm not taking uh, shots at the 98s, but. You know what? I can't say for sure. I'm mm. saying provide better service, provide better markers. I haven't rented you know in saying? a long time. Yeah, yeah. So, well, Wolfman, thanks for thanks for calling in. Pleasure, boys. Have a good night. Stop harassing me. Yeah. Love you. Bye. <laughs> no promises. There, I dropped him. I hung up on him so he couldn't hang up on us. <laughs> You can't leave me. I'm leaving you. <laughs> See, I told you guys, Wolf really loves paintball. <laughs> um, he does. 
What do we have for time? We've got four minutes. Five so, minutes. <clears throat> Five minutes. Mm-hmm. The outro. Outro takes a minute. Four minutes. Yeah. Four minutes. My bad. Yeah, we got four-ish minutes. We'll see. Uh, wait one second. Time's ticking, bro. Time's ticking. Tick tock. Anyways, um, yeah. So the broadcast happening August third, August fourth, depending on the time zone. Check it out. It's ESPN two. If you're Canadian, I believe the best way to catch it is if you have uh, a Hulu account. Using go th- go on Hulu and then use an American VPN and you can watch ESPN two through Hulu. I don't okay. recommend using any pirate services for pirate TV um, because you'll probably be able to find it on there, um, but you shouldn't because it's yeah. Definitely don't recommend. Um, Googling the words uh, how to watch ESPN2 free. Yeah. So. Yeah, you shouldn't do that. Nobody should ever do that. That's, no. That's just. Why <laughs> would you do that? <laughs> um, yeah. And, uh, you know, it's going to be great. I want, I, I can't wait to talk about it because that's what we're going to talk about next week. We're going to pick it apart. I'm going to watch it and I'm going to rewatch it. I'm going to rewatch it. It's going to be great. Um, August 30th. It's going to be great. It's paintball. It's what it is. I hope we get to see a lot of like send it style teams. content, right? I want to, yeah. I want to see the risks. I want to see the, like the excitement, right? Like distill that, put it into a whatever thirty minute well, I, spot. So I, I think players will play their asses off. It. They know they're on ESPN now, so they got to play their asses off. Yeah, it's, be, it's also like it's be a I, lot of I, good games. I watch the pro games. I, I watch the finals on Go Sports every time they're on, and. um like I, I love watching it live. I, like there was one year, what year was it? 2019, 2018, 2019, um, that it was Houston Heat versus the Russians, and uh, it was the final Russian game, Russians. the final point, and buzzer went like basically like game start, and Buddy just sprinted down the line. The Russian ones, right? Uh, the Russians actually lost. They they found that they were playing oh, I on. They won. Okay. He hit the buzzer. Everyone lost their minds. They were like, "Oh man!" Because they, they came back. It was a draw, and this was they had like eleven points le- or eleven seconds left on the clock. They did like a seven second point. It was wild. Everyone lost their minds. It was crazy. They went back and it saw that he had actually gotten hit in the ankle, and played on, and it hit the buzzer. So they actually pulled two players and caused a major, which means that uh, Houston Heat got the point. So they yeah, lost. These uh, games are epic, man. Right. So Houston Heat won on a technicality, and I watched that live. I literally threw a beer can across the uh, across the room when it happened. <laughs> so I would love to see the the female teams on ESPN as well. I think we will. I, I think teams, uh, yeah. I think we will. I think they're going to show a little bit of everything. I think with this one, it's just a couple of. I think it's only the two teams right now, but I think it's got room to grow. So, uh, but that's it, folks. It we're pretty intense too. Yeah, mm-hmm. we're going to wrap Sorry. it up uh, real quick. So, Zach, Led, thanks for coming on and chit chatting with me. It was uh, it was a ton of fun. Wolf, thanks for calling in. Thanks for being the only caller, whatever you know. The best caller. The best caller. And for those that are watching, chit chatting in the comments for us, liking and sharing and all that. You know, we love you. Thank you so much. But that's it, folks. Yeah, I don't think- what? What was that? I was gonna say the comments really popped off tonight. Yeah, they did. It was great. It was awesome. So that's oh. it, folks. We're out of here until next mm-hmm. week. Cheers. <laughs>